Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laurel 8 framework tutorial. This is our partner 43. Inside this video, we will see that consume APIs by HTTP client. Let's assume that we have an application. Inside that application, we are using third party APIs. Third party APIs in the sense that the API is developed in other languages. But we are fetching data. So how can we fetch data inside our Laravel application? So by the help of HTTP client method and its let's say HTTP client class and its method, we are going to fetch data from third party API. So if I back to browser, so if I search let's say sample API for testing. So as we can see that we are getting a JSON placeholder link which is a online fake REST API. So if I scroll down, now as we can see inside this resources section, we have a post APIs, comments APIs, albums, photos, to-dos and users. Now if we click on any of the link, let's say for the post, now as we can see that when we hit this URL, we will get all these data. It is going to provide total number of rows equal to 100 posts. Scroll down. As we can see inside this route section, it is clearly says that if we hit by using get request type post URL, then we will get all the posts. If we hit the same URL, but instead of hitting this post, if we pass let's say post ID, then it is going to give the post detail. What I mean, simply I open a duplicate tab, let's say that this is ID number 5 and when I pass here 5, now it is going to give a post single post detail. So simply we are going to consume APIs in our Laravel application and let's see that how it works. So back to editor, first of all let's create a controller, so back to terminal. If I close this development server, so let's say php artisan make controller and simply we are going to consume post APIs. So let's say post controller. So this is post controller. So controller created successfully. If I back to editor, go inside this app http controllers and if I reload this directory structure and here we have now a post controller. So inside this post controller now we are going to consume APIs of JSON placeholder what we had seen. So first of all let's create few methods so public function index and inside this simply we are going to consume APIs And before calling APIs, we need to actually import our HTTP client. So for that, let's say use HTTP. And as we can see that this HTTP comes from eliminate support for SATs and HTTP. So if I press enter, this is the complete path. And as we can see that this HTTP, it's a class. If I hover on that, then as we can see, this HTTP is a class and it extends facade. So by the help of this HTTP class and its get method, we are going to fetch data. So back to index method. Let's say that posts equal to HTTP, we are going to use get method and inside this get method, Simply, we need to pass the URL. So if I back to browser, copy this URL, back to editor and pasting it here. So simply, inside this post section, now we are getting all the values. Simply, we have fetched all the data and stored inside this post variable. So simply, if I write let's say return, posts open up web.php to create a route 
web.php and let's say that route get and if we type here let's say for the posts and before that we need to actually import our controller so let's say use post controller what we have created this post controller is created inside app http and controllers folder so go here create an array let's say post controller it's a class and inside this second parameter we need to pass the method name so we have the method name as index so if i copy this route back to browser go here and if i type let's say post so first we need to start the development server so php artisan serve development server has been started go and reload this page and as we can see that we are getting if i press ctrl u ctrl plus to make some zoom so inside this as we can see we are getting the same data what we had seen inside this url simply these data are in string format but here we are getting the json object so how can we convert the string value what we got into a json object format so simply we are going to use the php function called json decode so back to editor go to controller and let's say instead of returning a simple object which is a variable means which is a string type simply let's say json decode and passing this post variable now if we save all these changes go and reload this page and as we can see that this time we are getting json object means array of objects in which we have total equal to 100 items into now this format so simply let's say that we are going to iterate or we are going to pass all these values to a view file and see that how it is going to print so back to editor if i make comment of this line let's return view and simply we are going to create a post layout means post.blade.php inside this second array means inside this second value we are going to pass our post variable and inside this if i copy this code and pasting it here so simply we need to create a layout called post.blade.php so press ctrl b and go here inside this resources folder views folder and let's say that posts dot blade dot php so simply we have created this layout now inside this layout simply i am going to create a table or if we want to wish then we can copy the bootstrap table code from anywhere but for now we are going to create a dummy table so let's say table and inside this table we need to create first t head in which we are going to define our table columns and in the second we need to define the t body it means the table body so here inside this t head the number of columns we have equals to user id id title and the body so inside our table we are going to display all about user id id and the title back to editor let's say that the first column is something let's say id if i copy and paste two more times in the second column let's say we have user id in the third column let's say we have title go inside this t body and keep in mind inside this layout file we had sent a variable which has stored all the post what we got so simply copy go here and i am using for each directive so let's say posts as post this is a single variable which is going to iterate over each post of array and here let's say int for each go inside that and simply inside this we have to declare our tr for the table row first column we need to get the id so as we can see that this is an object so simply by using this 
individual post variable simply post and here we will get by the help of this arrow operator and it column so simply if i copy again and paste two more times this is for the user id copy this key pasting it here and next we have the title so copy that and pasting it here now if we save all these changes go and reload this page this time instead of printing these values actually we have used a layout if I reload now as we can see that inside this page we have a table and inside this table we have printed the ID which starts from 1 and it goes up to 100 number ID this is the user ID and finally we have the title if we want to print the body value again we need to add a column and simply fetch this body section from this object so for now we have created a layout with no CSS if you want to create your own HTML with the attractive CSS you can do so so inside this video session guys successfully we had seen that how can we consume or uh, let's say third-party APIs inside our Laravel application and one more thing that right now we have consumed only for the post APIs if you want to consume let's say comments albums and photos then you can surely you can inherit these APIs and use inside application in the next video we will see some more different techniques in Laravel so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day